name is Li Dairong. I'm a chief engineer from Huawei Hisenicon. We find ourselves in an era of change, presenting us with many uncertainties. The future rests in our hands, and we are facing more challenges and possibilities than ever before. To shape the future, we need our imaginations and remain devoted to what we believe. Just as all Huawei scientists and engineers are dedicated to achieving their goals, and though some people feel exhausted and some feel down. At this moment, when the people with their feet on the ground to discover the root causes of the problems and explore technologies that influence all aspects of our lives, perhaps we should start now. The future is digital, and chips are at the center of the information industry. Designing chips for the future is a challenging task as different chips need to be designed for different applications. So how can we know what future applications will look like? We can't get an accurate workload of future applications, but we can predict their characteristics by observing the trends of the past and present, and then sensor size benchmarks in order to guide the design of the future microprocessors. It's just similar to predict what a person will look like in the future. Based on this person's past and present appearance, we can extract characteristic data, such as date of birth, gender, height, weight, skin color, eating habits, exercise habits, and aesthetic characteristics. You are a future portraitist. To how she will look in 10 or even 20 years based on the characteristic data. Let's see who can draw the best portrait the fastest. This could lead to future chips becoming smaller but more powerful and could be applied to anything, even shoes or hats. I will now give the floor to my colleague Bei Xiaohui, who has prepared an amazing question that he wants you to answer. Hello everyone, I'm Bei Xiaohui, a research scientist from Huawei Shanghai Research Center. Typically, it may take many steps to accomplish something, be it in our daily lives or in chip computing. In the meanwhile, if we can efficiently allocate resources and schedule tasks, we can often achieve more with half the efforts and complete our tasks in the shortest amount of time. Imagine that you are playing a relay game where you must use teamwork to complete several stages in order to win. To complete all the stages more quickly, we should assign different people to different stages. If we let one member completing everything alone, while well, the others simply cheer them on, or if the stages are assigned inefficiently, it can take a long time to finish the game. On the contrary, if we assign the correct people to complete each stage, such as having the best swimmer do the swimming, the best runner the running, and so on, the entire process will be speed up and the whole game can be completed in the shortest time. Such a strategy does not only help us winning games, it can also enable faster, smarter, and more efficient connectivity and operations of equipment transportation, logistics, and cities. The future is not far from any of us. It may exist in any will, new discovery, or answer to a complex question. At Huawei, there are many challenging issues waiting to be solved. Huawei staff will continue to hold open dialogue with others, inspire more talents, gather ideas, and keep their fingers on the pulse of the future. We believe Technology can make our future better, and we thrive to benefit every member of the society through the application of ICT.